Okay, in this lecture we will discuss basic concepts and bias and fairness as it relates to machine learning. So here are our module objectives. Okay, so first we're going to talk about algorithmic fairness. So fairness is the absence of any prejudice or favoritism toward an individual or group based on their inherent or acquired characteristics. So an unfair algorithm is one that makes skewed decisions toward a particular group of people. So one example is the Compass risk assessment model that was used to um, used as a proxy to quantify recidivism risk. And judges would use this to determine if a uh, offender was likely to become a repeat offender. So in the case shown here, we have an African-American female who had, uh, you know, about four juvenile misdemeanor offenses who actually was assigned a higher risk rating compared to a white male whose prior offenses included armed robbery. And actually in real, uh, in the outcome, the white male actually did become a repeat offender. And many studies were done, and this uh, model was shown to disproportionately assign a higher risk score to African Americans. And why did this happen? Well, there was, a, you know, in the analysis of this, it highlighted several shortcomings, um, one of which is that the system used 137 features, but in the user interface, only seven of them were shown to the user. Many of these features were actually derived from survey information um, that the offenders would fill out and included arrest information about friends and family. And the, uh, uh, you know, it was well known at the time that, at least in the geographic areas where this was being used, that African American communities were being policed more heavily than white communities. And so the likelihood of um, an African American uh, offender knowing someone else who was arrested was much higher. So that as a feature uh, ended up, um, you know, leading to uh, an unfair outcome. Subsequent studies had also found that the models within Compass were performing no better than some very simple things like logistic regression and even uh, provided no significant improvement in determining recidivism over human judgment. So one more thing about that, though, is what you can see here with Compass, not only with the fact that it was an unfair algorithm, but some of these things about it um, are a little bit interesting from an engineering perspective. So first is that it's providing limited information to explain how the results came about. So it supposedly was using 137 features, but it was only showing seven of them to the end user. And so there could have been some other weird combination of features that was leading to a result, and that would be very difficult for a user of the product to determine. The other thing was looking at how the performance compared to baselines was probably not done uh, very well here. And you know, the fact that logistic regression provided comparable results, uh, the fact that looking at historical data and seeing that it does about the same as human judgment, these are things that are, you know, should be looked at when creating machine learning models. It's not enough just to look at the performance on some data set. You need to also look at, is this providing, you know, real impact over the current state of the art? And that kind of analysis on looking at you know, the performance of something in that context, that's also the same point where you also want to start testing it out to seeing if the algorithm is potentially providing unfair results. So likely none of that occurred here. Another example of this, uh, of unfair algorithms, occurred in blink detection. So Nikon cameras were using uh, a model to determine if individuals were blinking as the photographs were being taken, and it reportedly gave false positives for pictures of persons of Asian heritage. And many suspect that this was due to the models that were underlying this being trained primarily 
on uh, Caucasian individuals who have a different eye structure than, than Asians do. So again, because, likely because of uh, the training data, and here the bias was actually in the training uh, data itself, it led to unfair results in the algorithm that again came up in a real world product. So how to think about this? Well, we look at this as there's a relationship between data, which, uh, so if there's bias in the data, that will lead to a biased algorithm result. However, an algorithm itself can also provide a biased result. And the user's interaction in creating data um, could complete the circle, and it could lead to uh, bias within the data. So the interactions among these three things are what um, can lead to different sources of bias, and that's what we'll discuss further in this module. So that concludes this introductory portion. Stay tuned for more content.